All right, so our load and hold drill, um, there's a million different variations we can do off of the foundation of this drill, okay, with load and holds. Um, this is a drill that really tells guys a lot of things about their swings, right? It tells them what they're doing at the point of uh, the start of their swing and, and as they get into their turn. It tells you how st stable you are through your swing, okay? It talks about where you're at in the sense of separation. It helps you with pressures in your lower half to make sure we're not leaning to the front or sliding at all. We're keeping our pressures in the right spot. So there's a bunch of different variations we can do with this drill. But the staple drill of this load and hold drill is just a simply getting a good stance here, okay? Feel good rhythm, stride, and hold, okay? From this position, our first checkpoints are where we're at, okay? What's our body position? What's our pressure like, okay? After we get to that position, then we want to fire. Once we know we're there, then we want to fire and go, okay? The goal is to feel hidden inside of a box here, okay? So when you're inside of the box, you're creating a turn like a tornado versus a hard movement forward where our barrel's going to drag and we're not getting clean contact points out in front, okay? So um, our, our low and hold drill is a staple point of what we do a lot. Hitters work over this a lot every single day um, because it continues to create that model of consistency in our turn to where we're not forcing any type of slide movements, but hard, compact turning movements to create more bad speed, more impact at contact. He's going back to back. We put a curfew on it.